Good morning, River Chase. Um, welcome back for our Thursday devotional. I hope that you're all doing well. And um, it was really good to see a lot of you last Sunday. Um, I hope that you're doing well. I know that we're praying for Jim. Uh, Jim, I hope that you are making a full recovery. Uh, we love you. We miss you. Um, over the last few weeks, I've been talking about the people in Moses' infancy and the beautiful way God orchestrated his survival, keeping his promise to Abraham. Uh, much like Jesus' childhood, we don't know much about Moses' childhood, except that he was raised until he was weaned from his mother. And then he grew up in an Egyptian home um, by his adopted mom, Pharaoh's daughter. Jesus was without sin, but like everyone else, since Adam, we have all sinned, including Moses. It was when Moses was 40 years old that he happened upon the scene witnessing an Egyptian beating a Hebrew. Uh, the scripture in Exodus 2 says that Moses went to be with his people one day, uh, the Hebrews, and without knowing much about Moses' childhood or early adulthood, it's hard to say what his stance was on the Hebrew injustices that were happening. Um, and the slavery that they were under, um, or where exactly he fit in in his family. Uh, we also don't know when Moses came to faith or who even told him about God. We read in Hebrews 11, 24 to 26, uh, by faith, Moses, when he became of age, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin, esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches, greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he looked to the reward. What we know about uh, in this scripture, from the scripture, was that he stood up for the beaten slave and killed the Egyptian. Exodus 2 verse 12 says, he looked this way and he looked that way and seeing no one, he struck down the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. The very next day, he tried to intervene in an argument between two Hebrew men. The one instigating the argument replied angrily and asked Moses who made him prince and would he kill them like he killed the Egyptian the day before. Moses was stunned that the murder had been witnessed, and worse, witnessed that he had stood up for a Hebrew slave. Caught between two societies very different from each other, Moses was afraid for his life. When Pharaoh learned about what happened, he sought to kill Moses. Moses fled Egypt and found safety in Midian. Depending which way he took, Moses ran and then walked at least 200 miles and sat down near a well in Midian. I love that he was rescued from the water in a basket in the Nile. Named by Pharaoh's daughter, Moses, meaning drawn out of the water, and then later, again saved, sought refuge at a well where water was drawn. It was at this very well that he again stood up for an injustice he witnessed. This time, seven sisters were trying to retrieve, retrieve water for themselves and their flocks, but they were driven away by nearby shepherds. Moses saved the women and watered the animals. One of these women would become his wife later. Um, her name was Zephorah. As Christians, we strive daily to deny ourselves the temptations of sin. How easy it is to hide sin in our thoughts. The sparkling lure of money, the gossip that sticks to our tongues like honey, and the easiness of an entitled lifestyle are just three pages of ads in our magazines. But we refuse to serve evil because the wages are a painful death over and over. 
for eternity. We, like Moses, thought we had buried our sin and that there were no witnesses. But our moment of coming of age, coming to our senses, coming to faith, reveals to us our sin has always been witnessed and exposed. It is only then that we can hand this sin over, confess it into Jesus' ear, and exchange our dirtiness for his righteousness. And by learning how God uses Moses for his good, makes me hopeful that God would use me for his good too. I love you, River Chase, and um, I hope that you have a great day today. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.